First, we will send a radar along with NASA to space that will detect any changes in Earth as small as 10 meters. Then, we will send a series of uncrewed Gaganyaan missions to space, followed by two missions with our astronauts. Then, we will send two Chandrayaan missions to the Moon to get lunar samples and even land a 350 kg rover there. In between all this, we also plan to send an orbiter mission to study Venus. By 2035, we will have our own Bhartiya Antrik station in space. And finally, by 2040, India will land astronauts on the Moon. Sounds a lot? Hello, this is Aman Sharma and welcome to this episode of Homework where we will decode India's big and ambitious plans for space and how the country and ISRO could create history, starting this year with a step-by-step -step approach. My colleague Srishti Chaudhary, who covers space for us, has helped me simplify these ambitious missions for our viewers. The success of Chandrayaan-3 in 2023, when India became the first country to touch down near the lunar South Pole, has acted as a stepping stone for India to dream big. But let's get to the moon in just a bit. First, mark these big dates. First on the list is the big mission with NASA, termed the Nisar mission. To be launched very soon in the coming days, ISRO will send a synthetic aperture radar to space which will track all geographical changes on Earth in unprecedented detail like never before. This will be a giant step for mankind, much beyond the capability of existing Earth observation satellites. This is because NISAR will capture subtle changes on Earth with unprecedented resolution and precision, see through dense cloud cover through day and night. In fact, it would detect changes as small as 10 meters far away from space. Just imagine the impact. Then, in the first half of this year itself, India will send an uncrewed mission to the low Earth orbit as part of mission Gaganyaan. Now, it has always been India's dream to send its astronauts to space. Astronauts are also being trained for the same. The process gets a kickstart in the next few months when India will send an uncrewed mission to the low Earth orbit in fact, the expanse of the Gaganyaan mission has increased as India has now decided to send six such uncrewed missions to space before it sends two missions with our astronauts to space by the end of 2028 and lands them safely back on Earth. Gaganyaan has a budget of Rs 20,193 crores. Now, this budget is also so big because the Gaganyaan program is intrinsically linked to another big ambition of India which is having our own version of the International Space Station, which is the Bhartiya Antrik Station. The launch and the development of the first module of the Bhartiya Antrik Station is targeted to be completed by 2028 as well, when our men will visit space. The Bhartiya Antrik Station, once ready and operational by 2035, will lay the foundation for launching longer duration Indian human space missions. But in between chasing the stars in the universe, let us not forget the moon. India's ultimate aim is to land our astronauts on the moon by 2040 and create history. The success of Chandrayaan-3 has propelled that dream. And now India will be sending two more Chandrayaan lunar missions to prepare us before the eventual human trip to the moon. Chandrayaan-4 will be a path-breaking mission in 2028 for lunar sample collection as it will ascend from the moon's surface, dock and undock in the lunar orbit and transfer those samples from one module to the other module. The module will return and perform a re-entry to Earth for sample delivery. This will help ISRO to study the lunar samples in greater detail, far more than the limited studies that the lander and the rover mission could do in Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-5 will in fact go a step further by sending a rover of 350 kilograms in a highly advanced lander module that will go to the South Pole region of the Moon. It is going to be a heavy mission with the rover being designed by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and will be deployed onto the lunar surface by a lander which has been designed by ISRO. 
The advanced scientific instruments on the rover will give new insights into the South Pole and will take India much closer to landing humans on the moon. Ultimately, all these milestones are expected to translate into India's first crewed mission to the moon by the year 2040. In between all this, India also has a dream of sending an orbiter mission to Venus, like the one we sent to Mars, the Mangalyaan, in 2014. The Venus mission, planned for 2028, will be a big challenge too, as the planet is located nearly 64 million kilometers away. But it will help us improve our understanding of the origin and the evolutionary processes of Venus, its atmosphere and ionosphere. 2028, hence, is a landmark upcoming year for Indian space exploration, when Indian astronauts can for the first time reach space, an orbit mission could reach Venus, India could be able to get lunar samples back from the moon, and a decisive step could be taken to start building our own space station. Join us next week for another episode of Homework. Thanks so much for watching.